John, you told me just as we were going on there, what did you see over there? There is a healing angel who just, just came back a few minutes ago and he's about to stir up the water of healing. So if you are sick, just get ready right now in Jesus' name. But tell me what happened at age six. Now, you come from a church that is non-spirit-filled. You have no paradigm for this. Uh, I, I'm just in awe over a six-year-old that has the experience you had. What was it? Well, I'm coming from the fifth and sixth generation born-again Christian. My dad was a pastor, my grandpa as well, but from the Brethren Church, non-charismatic church. Uh, even my grandpa was the songwriter for the choir. <laughs> and But at the age of five, I gave my life to Jesus. Uh, and that's the best things you can do today. So I opened my heart to the precious Jesus, the Messiah, and he saved my life. And at the age of six, I was on my pyjama in my bedroom. My parents did a simple prayer that every parent should do. And they say, Father, baptize our son with the Holy Spirit. And heaven just opened upon myself, and the fire of the Holy Ghost came over me from the top of my head to the sole of my feet. The glory of God invaded my life. And I heard out loud God calling me to preach the gospel to the nations of the world. And on the same fire, I heard it out loud. Europe shall be saved. And that's the reason I have no doubt that I'm going to see Europe saved. But since a while, my life, my heart get enlarged, and I have faith that America shall be saved, Africa shall be saved, the Middle East shall be saved in Jesus' name. Well, you know what? God told you all Europe will be saved. But God told you in the Bible, it is written, all Israel shall be saved. Now, uh, Jean-Luc, I've got to understand, did you feel a fire? Why do you say fire? What did you feel when this happened? It was like tens of thousands of electricity came over me. It was a power, it was electric, but it was a river of liquid fire that just came over me. And I believe this is the day what the Lord wants to do for everyone. He wants to pour out His Spirit upon all flesh.